all right so i'm still continuing with the letters and questions that people have been sending to my email at drdanimidagmail.com so i'm reading today's question that someone sent to me to you so the first question is how can i identify a gold digger in a relationship and the second question is how can i deal with a gold digger in a relationship tough questions but i'll do my best to answer them the first question therefore is who is a gold digger or what do we mean when we say someone is a gold digger in a relationship so a gold digger is someone who gets into a relationship with another person with the primary aim of gaining money or wealth their main goal is for financial gains in other words they are in a relationship for money more than for love a gold digger can be of any gender it can be a female gold digger or a male gold digger so let's answer the first question how can you identify a gold digger in a relationship in other words what are some of the signs that will make you know that you are in a relationship with a gold digger number one gold diggers prefer an expensive gift for an apology have you ever been in a relationship where your partner when you have an argument with them will ask you to buy an expensive wristwatch buy a necklace that is expensive that is how gold diggers behave when you have a problem or an argument with them in a relationship they will demand that you buy something that is of a high monetary value for example they can ask you to buy a very expensive cloth for them just to make peace with them so when you are in a relationship with a gold digger one of the things that they would do is to initiate unnecessary fights with you because this will be an opportunity for them said that you will buy an expensive gift to apologize to them so if you see this in your partner in a relationship that should suggest that you are dealing with a gold digger the second point is a gold digger usually wants to hang out in fancy places of course because gold diggers come in for the money in a relationship they come in for the world in a relationship the world also want to hang out with you in expensive places places that you know are way beyond your pocket this is where a gold digger would always require that you hang out with them so even in your first date with a gold digger they would ask that you you go to an expensive place just so they can assess whether you can manage or you can afford their expensive lifestyle that should definitely suggest that you are dealing with a gold digger the third point is a gold digger is curious about your income you need to expect that when you meet a gold digger in a relationship they will ask you where you work your position in that work where you live and also your income of course it is okay that when someone is in a relationship with you they ask you about your your work the income you earn you know where you live and so on and so forth however for a gold digger maybe on the first date with them or the second date with them they are so curious they want to know how much income you earn where you live the position at work this would definitely suggest that they are in or they are trying to ask for this information just so they can assess if you are someone who can afford their lifestyle and therefore they will decide whether to stay with you or not number four when you are in a relationship with a gold digger he or she would never pay for anything usually in a relationship men are the ones who usually pay the bills or men are the ones who are usually expected to pay the bills when in a relationship however you should be concerned when you have a relationship with a gold digger especially when they never make any attempt to pay any of the bills that you incur during the relationship or to even offer their contribution to pay for the bills that would definitely suggest that you are dealing with a gold digger of course when you are in a relationship with a gold digger she would insist that men are the ones who have to pay for the bills in a relationship number five gold diggers are ungrateful so gold diggers lack gratitude and also they don't like to say the word thank you because for them that's a normal lifestyle that they lead and no matter how much money that you spend on them they see it to be part of their normal routine so there's no need for them to you know say thank you for whatever amount of money that you spend on them there should be a clear indication that you are in a relationship with a gold digger number six a gold digger is always in a financial crisis so one of the tricks that gold diggers use is to pretend as if they never have money in their pocket or even in their bank account when you are in a relationship with them 
whatever you have to do that you might require some assistance financial assistance from them then they will always tell you they don't have money so this is part of their trick in a sense because if they tell you they have money then you would require that they also assist you financially so if you're in a relationship with someone who is always saying that they don't have money and that they have no money in their bank account that could be an indication that you're in a relationship with a gold digger gold diggers are usually out of your leg so quite often when you meet gold diggers you will see that they are out of your leg by this what I mean is that for example if a young woman is dating a very old man definitely this person is out of your leg and that will mean that she is just in this relationship for financial gains if a very young man is also dating a very old woman this will also mean that the young man is out of the leg of that old woman and this young man may just be looking for money that's why they are in that relationship so anything that makes it look like this person is way beyond you way beyond your level can suggest that you are dealing with a gold digger number eight gold diggers are not ambitious in life you have to be aware of a partner who has no job and is not interested in finding one soon or is not making any effort to try and find a job soon a man who is a gold digger is not career oriented and will depend on you to pay for everything for them some of these male gold diggers have attractive looks they are very handsome and will use this handsomeness to get you to give them your money so that they can spend it on themselves number nine a gold digger would always be curious about your family background some male gold diggers will ask too many questions just to know about your family background if they find out that your family background is good that your people are rich they will try to please you in every way including taking you out on dates taking you out on holidays even to the point of marrying you unfortunately such a man may dump you as soon as he lays his hands on your inheritance number 10 a gold digger loves shopping excessively another tip on catching a gold digger is by listening to what they have to say when it comes to money and investment a man that is out for your money will always encourage you to go for shopping when you are shopping with such a man he would add expensive items to the shopping basket but when it's time to go to the counter and pay he would run away from the counter so you finish paying he will also encourage you to buy things that will benefit them even if these things are not your preference so what are some of the tips for dealing with gold diggers in your life number one the best way is to get rid of a gold digger by cutting him or her off your life entirely if you don't cut a gold digger off he or she may continue using your money let's not forget that it may be difficult to cut a gold digger off if you are already in love with them number two never let a gold digger know how much you earn the point here is that if you discover that your partner is a gold digger even if a gun is pointed at your head never let him or her know how much you earn if the gold digger does not know how much money you earn or how much money you have in your pocket the number of times that he or she asks for money from you will reduce the third point is never give the gold digger everything he or she demands from you so if you give a gold digger everything that they ask for anytime they ask for it then they will be encouraged to always keep asking for more you know so if you can deny them sometimes when they ask for money then the rate at which they ask for money from you will reduce for example it's just like having a kid who asks for something you always give them what they ask for the kid would always demand you know anytime when they need something and will not agree if you don't have it we've come to the end of another episode what I want to say is that there are a number of gold diggers in this time so if you meet someone who is almost always trying to find out about your family background trying to find out about how much you earn then you probably have met a gold digger and then one of the best ways to deal with a gold digger is to cut them off and look for someone who genuinely loves you don't forget to subscribe to this channel share this video to help a friend to identify a gold digger Thank you.